A great night here at the Big M for the veterans joining us for the Horse Ability Combat Veterans event tonight. And Annie Follinsby, the Director of Development and Programming for Horse Ability, is joining us. You have a great background with horses. How'd you ever get hooked up with Horse Ability? Um, I started with Horse Ability three years ago. Um, had gone to college for criminal justice, but I've been in the therapeutic riding industry for seven years now. Now, Horse Ability does so much for so many people in various facets of life. And we talked earlier with Sergeant Walker Potts, the outside of a horse is great for the inside of a man. And that's true. It's a great asset for handicapped children that learn how to ride and develop balance and a relationship with the horses. And also a lot of our veterans that were wounded as well. Absolutely. Yeah, we run full year programming for children as young as two and a half years old all the way through senior citizens. Uh, we actually had a 93 year old get on a horse this year at our program. Well, that covers a wide spectrum, that's for sure. Where do you find the money to sustain horse ability? Do you take donations and there is a website people can log on to? 501c3, not for profit. Uh, we do a lot of grant writing and a lot of private donors for solicitation too. Now the weather we have right now, it's raining outside, it's cold, it's chilly, and you guys are weather dependent. You're trying to raise some money to build an indoor arena. How's that going? It's going well. We just launched our capital campaign. It's a two and a half million dollar fundraiser to renovate and expand our facility. Uh, we do run full year programming six days a week, but are extremely limited because of the weather. Now, there's also a veteran scholarship connected with Horse Ability as well. Tell us about that and how we could get involved. Sure. So any Wounded Warrior member uh, that's a post 9-11 veteran is sponsored at any premier accredited center uh, through the PATH membership. So that's Professional Association of Therapeutic Horsemanship. They're sponsored to come out for any services that they want, uh, whether it be equine facilitated psychotherapy, riding or driving for a minimum of 10 sessions. And that's across the country. Now, how many horses do you have right now under your care? We have 19. That's a big job. That's it a is. lot of work. A lot of work. I'll bet it's very fulfilling though. It is. And we have 250 volunteers there a week that make that possible. Fantastic, Annie. Well, thanks for all the work you're doing with HorseAbility. HorseAbility.org is the website. One last question. My colleague, Bob Hollywood Hayden, has been giving you tips so far tonight. Have you made any money betting? Uh, I'm about to go play some bets right now. So I know he's doing well, and I'll take his advice. I'm sure I'll do well, too. We'll see if his hot streak continues. Annie Follinsby of HorseAbility, Director of Development and Programming. For more, log on to HorseAbility.org. Annie, thanks for joining us, and Thank have a great so night. Thank you so much for having us.